previous tutorial was complete true operation link given in the description box below in this tutorial i will show you how to delete multiple row from database in asp.net c sharp using link you so first of all i am gonna add a checkbox in the grid view so add column and in this column add aspect template field and under the template field add item template in this item template i'm gonna add a checkbox just drag the checkbox from the toolbox and drop it in the aspx page and id of this checkbox is checkbox select now checkbox is added in the grid view now add a button control i just copy this button control and paste uh, below the grid view and uh, text of this button control will be delete so delete all and event is the event remove and double click on the click event to generate a click event yes the button 6 click event is generated successfully this is the database programming db and table is user info underscore tab and these are the column these are the records in the database table okay now i'm gonna show you this is the dbml file link you file and the table now i'm gonna write code to delete record delete uh, selected record from the grid view in that case for add a for loop for integer i equal to zero i less than grid view on dot rows dot count i plus plus okay now declare checkbox checkbox csk equal to checkbox grid view on dot rows row index is i and dot find control find control is the uh, checkbox id so let's copy the checkbox id checkbox id is checkbox select just copy and paste it in the double quotation dot uh, yes if chk dot checked i mean grid view checkbox is checked then then what happened then it will perform delete operation so integer uid equal to convert dot to integer t2 grid view one this is the grid view id grid view one dot rows row index is i and uh, dot cell one is the column index index will start from zero so id user id is in the second index index one and zero index is checkbox so but you delete this is the entity you delete equal to from s in db dot user info underscore tab where s dot user id equal to uid what i declared integer user uid for user id so db dot user info tabs dot delete and submit entities you delete yes now finally db dot submit changes okay it's done db is the link you file db data class data context db what i have shown you now i'm gonna create a method to load to replace the grid view data instantly so void reload grid view write code to select all the records in the grid view but st equal to from as db dot user info tab select as grid view under data source equal to st entity st grid view under data bind okay now just uh, call this method after the loaf yes okay it's done now right click view in browser yes now you can see i am just selecting three and four delete yes successfully deleted id three and four now add a confirm message on client click return confirm are you sure to delete this uh, this is uh, to confirm whether you want to delete or not uh, before performing delete operation okay now select and delete all yes you can see it's displaying are you sure to delete if you click cancel it's not deleted now i'm gonna adding header checkbox to select all row i mean to select all the records from grid view together okay in that case add a header template under the asp template field header template is added under the header template field add a checkbox i just place the checkbox uh, outside of the grid view to generate click event id is checkbox header and auto pushback equal to true you must select auto pushback to um, do it okay 
checkbox check change event is created now just uh, move move this uh, checkbox uh, and uh, move the checkbox to header template yes it's added now code to select all row in grid view so first of all declare a variable bool variable bool check select equal to declare checkbox checkbox grid view on dot header row dot find control uh, find control is header checkbox id checkbox header ok just paste it yes dot checked now add a for loop for integer i equal to 0 i less than grid b1 grid b1 is grid b id dot rows dot count i plus plus ok now if check select equal to true i mean if you select header checkbox then checkbox grid b1 dot rows index is i and dot find control this is the uh, template item template checkbox id is checkbox select double quotation and then checkbox select yes this is the item template checkbox and uh, the uh, above one is a header checkbox if if check select equal to false i mean if you deselect the header checkbox then it will uh, deselect all the checkbox in the item template let's check whether it's working or not select all yes it's selected all and if you deselect it's deselected all the checkbox in the item template in grid view and click on delete are you sure to delete selected item yes successfully deleted and the grid view also replaced instantly thanks for watching this tutorial